Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carrion, and today we will talk about one of my favorite topics, the general formula for solving quadratic equations. But before we start, let's go over some basics. A second degree equation is one in which the unknown, the x, appears at least one squared like this, which is x squared plus 2x plus 8 equals 0. Our unknowns are the x's, and 1 is squared, so it is a second degree equation. The general formula that we will see later is used to solve second degree equations, like ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. We would call the letter a quadratic term, the letter b linear term, and letter c independent term. That means that the letter a will be by the x squared. The letter b is the one that is by the x that is not raised to any power. And the letter c is the term that is alone. That is not by any letter. To make this clearer to us, we're going to see some examples. Here I have 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. The letter a equals 3 because it is the number that is by the x squared. The letter b is equal to minus 2 because it is the number that is by the x. And the letter c is equal to 4 because it is the number that is alone. Let's see another example. Here I have 6x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. The letter A is equal to 6 because it is the number that is by the x squared. The letter B is equal to 3 because it is the number that is by the x. And the letter C is equal to minus 5 because it is the number that is alone. Don't forget to accompany each number with its sign. Here I have x squared plus 5x plus 8 equals 0. In this case, A equals 1. When we have the x squared and we do not have any number, it is understood that it is 1. Therefore, a equals 1. The letter b is equal to 5 because it is the number that is by the x. And the letter c is equal to 8 because it is the number that is alone. To finish, I have 2x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. The letter a is equal to 2 because it is the number that is by the x squared. The letter b is equal to minus 1 because although there is no number, it is understood that it is 1 and the sign is negative. It's minus 1. And the letter c is equal to 1 because it is the number that is alone. Very easy, right? The general formula is the following. x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 8. As you can tell, here I have two signs, plus and minus. This means that we're going to obtain two results. One when we use the plus sign, and another when we use the minus sign. When we talk about solving a second degree equation equal to zero, it means that we're going to find how much the letter x is worth, and after substituting results, it has to give us zero. We have to find the value of x, that it's called solving an equation. Now, we're going to solve an exercise. The second degree equation that we're going to use is x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. We're going to find the values of a, b, and c. a is worth 1 because although there is no number by the x, it is understood that it is 1. b equals 2 because it is the number that is by the x, and c equals minus 8 because it is the number that is alone. Remember that you have to put the sign to 1 and 2. I did not put a sign because it is understood that they are positive, but minus 8 has to have its sign. Now, here I am going to put my values of A, B, C and my second degree equation that I am going to solve and put my general formula, which is X is equal to minus B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. 
Now, I am going to substitute values. This means that instead of putting the letters, I am going to put their value. I have that x is equal to minus the value of b, which is 2, plus minus the square root and the value of b, which is 2, squared minus 4, times the value of 8, that is 1, times the value of c, that is minus 8. All of this divided by 2, times the value of a, that is 1. As you can see, I already changed the letter A, B, C for their values. Very easy, right? Now, we're going to perform the operations that are in parentheses. I have X equals, and I have minus times 2, and minus times 2 equals negative 2, plus minus square root, and 2 squared equals 4. Now, I am going to multiply minus 4 times 1 times minus 8. Minus 4 times 1 is minus 4, and the minus 8 goes down exactly the same. Negative times negative gives positive, and 4 times 8 is 32. Surely many can do it directly, but I explained it like this in case someone doesn't know how to do it. So I put plus 32, and all this over, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So now it looks like x equals minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 32 over 2. Now I have that x is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root 4 plus 32 is 36. All this over 2. Now I have x equals minus 2 plus minus the square root of 36, which is 6. All this over 2. As you already realize, this sign is plus minus. This means that I am going to perform this operation using the plus sign and the minus sign. And I am going to get two results. So x1 equals minus 2 plus 6 over 2. And x2 equals minus 2 minus 6 over 2. Do you see that? In one, use the plus sign. And in the other, use the minus sign. Now, we're going to find the value of x1 and x2. x1 equals minus 2 plus 6 is 4 over 2. x1 equals 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. Now, I go with x2. x2 equals minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8 over 2. x2 equals minus 8 divided by 2 equals minus 4. We are done. We already found the values of x1 and x2. Now, I am going to explain why it is said that with these values, the equation is solved. So pay close attention. Here I have my quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And here I have my values of x1 and x2. I'm going to start with the value of x1 which is equal to 2. x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This is my original equation. Now I am going to substitute values. This means that instead of putting the letter x, I am going to put the value of x1. Therefore, it is as follows. The value of x, which is 2 squared plus 2 times the value of x, which is 2 minus 8, equals 0. Now, I am going to perform the operations. 2 squared is equal to 4, plus 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and the minus 8 goes down exactly the same. This is equal to 0. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, minus 8 is equal to 0. 0 equals 0. Therefore, the result of x1 is correct because it gives me 0 on both sides of the equation. Now we're going to see the value of x2, which is minus 4. Here I have my original equation, which is x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now I am going to substitute values of x2 in the equation. The value of x2, that is minus 4 squared, plus 2 times the value of x2, that is minus 4, minus 8, equals 0. As you can see, it is the original equation, only that instead of putting the axis, I put its values. Now, we go with the operations. Minus 4 squared, 
this means that the minus 4 is going to be multiplied by itself 2 times. Negative times negative is positive and 4 times 4 gives me 16. Now, 2 times minus 4 is equal to minus 8. And the minus 8 goes down exactly the same. This is equal to 0. Now, plus 16 minus 8 gives me 8. Minus 8 is 0. 0 equals 0. Therefore, this result is also correct since it gives me 0 on both sides of the equation. Very easy, right? Now, I am going to leave some exercises for you to solve. I hope to see your answers in the comments. I really hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye bye.